Hello everyone, we're back again. Uh, this time, of course, we're not playing against players, but against AI. Uh, the AI aren't really you know, strong, they're standard, but even our easy AI today is really hard because of the patches. And with me is my good friend, Red Alien 007. Hi there. And he's playing as well. We're mocked on playing a Soviet, and we're against US and Robert Mohanta West. So, without further ado, here we're gonna start the video in 3, 2, 1, and go. So, as usual, I start off as building my uh, special rifle command, and I also go with the intercept radio. I'm building already an infantry company. Yes, I was about to say that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, our enemies are already expanding. Yes, they are. And I also got my first conscript spot. And immediately at the bat, I tried to go up and take the first victory point. And Predalien is trying. Well, well, I will also try to take the middle one, and Predalien will take the one at his side. Yeah. Of course, we'll you will see that you will run into a lot of trouble in the head. It wouldn't be company of years if you wouldn't. And here I got my first Grenadier squad. Good, very good. Grenadiers, ready for battle. Yeah. First, I didn't realize that. My territory's board not connected. I had to take this position. Uh, where exactly? Right yeah, above, uh, above the fuel station. Uh, okay, yeah, that's kind of gay, I have to say, a bit. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing about that position which you're grabbing right now with your conscripts. If you don't yeah. capture that, you basically you won't get anything if you move further. And I got my penal battalion. Ah, yes. Good. I love to build them now, they're really, really OP. Now. And then here I capture another, well, not another, but first victory point. The enemy already actually had the, the uh, two victory points. Yeah, at the beginning I didn't even choose a doctor because, like, I didn't know what to choose. It's been a long time since I played as the Wehrmacht. Indeed. But eventually I choose, I don't even know which one was it. I think it was the Feshtung. Yeah, the Feshtung support doctor. And here's your first uh, yeah, engagement. engagement. They're using their volley fire. I really dislike it sometimes. Yeah, but it's really effective. Oh well, yeah, it is. And I got my second Grenadier squad. I'm gonna assault them together. And I'm building another penal battalion if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I'm building another penal battalion to support my attack on the victory point, the other victory point. Yeah. In the beginning, we were a little bit under, at least I was under defensive. I was trying to constantly move up, but I was, uh, my plan was thwarted uh, when I saw this attack force here. Ah yes, Sturm Pioneers. Thankfully I managed to push him back. Wow, I can see that the Americans basically decided to move north. Yeah, they're trying to flank me actually. At the exact moment when my Grenadiers just arrived. And my conscripts are trying to capture this. Oh yeah, in the meantime I was trying to build up bunkers to defend our territories much easily. No flanks. Yes. That was uh, really necessary at the point. Uh, so I, uh, the meanwhile, I was capturing the victory point. They were capturing the other one. Yeah, it seems that you were a little bit surrounded. Yes, but I managed to hold the line. And there's my another penal battalion. Wow. 
you're a little bit surrounded there. <laughs> yeah, I, least... once I captured the area, I sent all my forces to capture that point. Right. Meantime, I decided as well to move north because I just saw that basically without that turn to my, uh, I won't receive any new resources. Yeah. But first, and it seems I wanted to get rid of the Americans over here. They were yeah. causing both Kilo Priest and I uh, some problems. And there's an armored car. And a Kubel wagon right in the middle of position. Okay. Oh, yeah. This guy just. I kind of decided company. To, to say screw that area. I'm just going to capture this. And gather my forces because otherwise I'll just lose and lose more units. Well, I was able to cat, um, defeat the Americans here, and I'm sending up the MG into that bunker. There we go. And oh, there goes a stoom pioneer from that ammo depot. Let's see if there. Yep, there actually is a MP44. It looks like a MP. 40. And their uh, Google again. Yeah, the Americans at the south were attacking me with their truck. 50 cal. Set up my yep. MG, tried to counter it. Did a really good job, actually. Let's see. I still didn't have my. Uh, put my new building up so I can build MGs yet because it's kind of concentrating on defending and because I didn't have enough fuel as well and now they pushed me back from here yeah well at the south end of the center was a little bit stabilized at least for me yeah, I actually needed to build Whoa, up that's my a large enemy force where? At the South Americans. Oh, uh, yeah, that is a large horse actually. But your MG was holding the line. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you were doing a lot worse than I at the moment. Yeah, I, yeah, you can see that I pulled back. Yeah, you retreated to the middle. <laughs> Ran in right into the uh, the vulture. Oh, yeah. right I can there. see the ran right into the bunker. And here's my push onto the base as well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you had to retreat completely. You were doing good. Yeah, I was pushing forwards always. Every time I heard an MG, I thought it was their MG, actually. That was <laughs> sure. Well, as you can see, it was mostly my bunker. Yeah. And I finally got off my support weapon, Campania. And I still didn't choose a company, I mean a doctrine. Wow, I lost quite a few amount of grenadiers. And here they're I actually lost an prepared. entire squad. Yeah. Did? Yeah. Ah, I got my scout car. Yeah, I usually build fast tracks, I don't build scout cars. No, like, I'm gonna get that semi automatic cannon thing. And then I spotted that they built the Panzer headquarters. Ah, yeah, that. I had to immediately retreat because I would have lost my people squad. Yeah, the middle position now became even a more desperate place to capture with that flag gun. Indeed, but once uh, once that uh, Predelin got rid of the Humvee, it was really easy for you to, <coughs> yeah. to push up forward without the problems. When I got the scout car, I basically went on the offensive. I planted mines in that ammunition depot. <laughs> There we go. And there's my first MG squad. Uh, 
and a Panzer II is coming up. And I have absolutely no anti-tank guns. No. I am getting one, but I tried to destroy it with my Pino Battalion. Yeah, I think this was the point when you asked uh, the help. Asked yeah, I asked if you had any kind of pack yeah. yeah, I didn't. didn't yeah, I didn't have at the beginning, but I was actually getting one at that moment. In the meantime, at the south, I was able to start to capture these positions. Indeed. Yeah, my pack gun just arrived. The bunker has been approved with an MG42. And we got an MG42 bunker. Yep, and I'm bringing in my anti tank gun finally to take care of the D Panzer 2. I always have to keep my forces fed into the area there. that I got my MG, things got a little bit different there. Indeed. Yeah, I didn't use my scout car. I knew that they had some kind of bazookas there. Well, your MG kept them in town, so... Yeah. Good. Me, I was having a lot of trouble with this Panzer. But you send in your pack gun, which allowed us to take it down. And boom, it's down. Not really. Now, uh, yeah, there we go. A little sneaky. And you are doing quite well with that position there. Yeah, the bazookas didn't really do much. This is the point where I was like, mm, I'm gonna push up and send my MG into the building. Whoa, Stuart tank. Yeah, you needed to take your pack gun away. It is somewhere, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm already sending it to the south. I actually wanted to use uh, the Panzerfaust on him, but it eventually pulled back. Yeah, uh, because you damaged the engine and you fall back. Oh, that's a good thing. No, they were they actually always... Yeah, they kept always trying to flank you. And yeah, my pig gun arrived. Now we can... It's good. Alright, let's see... Wow, the Obor Commander had a lot of... munitions. Well, what happened, man? Yeah, they did. What do you mean? No, I just said my Steam that you started to play Company Heroes 2. Okay, whatever. gonna do anything with their infantry here. Yeah, you were doing really well. For me, I was always struggling. We'll have to check it, what's going on. I see, not only that you will find the over commander, but the Americans will fighting you as well. Damn it. I was fighting the two enemies at the same time. Wow, I finally choose a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I had the PPSH research at that time was able to destroy the uh, bazooka squad there. And then I got tired of that goddamn base of them there. So I give him a little surprise. Where's the where's the surprise? Right next to the uh, victory point. 
The middle of victory points. Oh, yeah, I am Warwick. No. Such and such. Oh. Oh yeah, you blew it up already. Yeah. Because I was really getting tired of their, uh, using that building, so I figured I'm gonna take it out. And uh, Panzer, Panzer two again. I still hate the fact that how fast they can get the Panzer twos. Actually, the regular players can get it really fast as well, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah. I was able to destroy it. Oh, cool. there's the steward tank. Oh, now it's changing course. It's now moving towards me. Actually, it's sending against me again, I think. Oh, no. Once again? Oh. It's going, it going towards your bunker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I use my scout car as bait. Yeah. See that? And kind of lose it still, but he still had a back end there, so. Yeah. There we go. Bait worked. <laughs> he's there, but he's pulling back. Yeah, but you had line of sight, so. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting screwed right now. Let's see what's going on. Holy crap. <laughs> that was a good strike, more strike. Oh, sweet motor strike, man. Yeah. Ah, so you're ahead of me of a few seconds. Uh, what time are you at? 33, 34, 35. Yeah, 36. yeah, I'm 41, 1643. How about that? Pause it and then. Uh, How about now? 45, 46. I mean, I'm at 51. Tell me when you're ready. I am at 51, 52, 53, 54. Is it good now? I'm a second behind, but that's no problem. Alright, I basically speeded up the game a little bit. Okay. Wow. Now you're again on the offensive. Yeah, I kept always pushing. That's a good thing, actually. With the Russians, you're good with uh, huge numbers. I took a lot of losses though. You oh. can actually see his bodies everywhere. Yeah. I don't know when when I basically decided to move forward and take that position. I actually wanted them to, you know, like surround them a little bit. Well they were basically surrounded. We only needed to take the middle position, but we didn't have enough manpower to do it and I still hadn't secured my section. Ah, you have your T-34. Yeah, it was my first one. Yeah, I have my Panzer IV as well. I started to build up uh, sandbags everywhere. Yeah, here is the moment when I decided to send my grenadiers to move forward. And look at that howitzer. Where? What? To the north. <laughs> He took out your... <laughs> oh yeah, it took out my elite, yeah, that one. It shot one bullet in Yeah, and everyone was dead. Well, gotta say, I'm actually thankful that the flamethrowers are now much more powerful. Indeed. In the first game, they weren't, weren't really that powerful. Actually, they were. Whoa, your dudes. Yeah. Peter Battalion, but yeah. at least they got the satchel charged to the face. And my MG is raining down hell. Yeah, and light artillery as well. Oh, nice shot, man. Indeed. <laughs> right into it, right into it. Uh, beautiful shot. Wait, I hear Thompson. Wow. I think those are bars. 
I might be mistaken. Well, there's there's a one dude who has a Thompson. Zoom in. Actually, we can see it from far away as well. What's going on on my side? Ah, rifle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive, friend. Plus, now that I have more half track, it's, it's even pointless. Better. Yeah. Ah, oh, now I got that standard position. The Americans and the uh, Open Commander were always trying to take my position. Yeah. I think they were mostly as well, you know, trying to defend that fuel station. Basically, that was their only point where they could get fuel. True. Since I was holding the other one to the south already. I always kept them under pressure. Yeah. That's a good thing, man. Let's see, what did I build? I didn't build much, I'm just keeping my units behind. I have my mortar set up as well. And then I get my other MG to cover the my. I guess it's the uh, wow. other flight there. The Americans have, and the Overt might have a lot of fuel. Yes, they do actually. Even in ammo, I mean in munitions, they're better than us. Indeed. <laughs> I'm surprised that we managed to hold this off. Indeed. But it's an AI still, so we need yeah. to... Oh that. wait, actually I was uh, wasting a lot of resources into bunkers. I was wasting a lot of resources on building forces and upgrading them. Yeah, I was upgrading them as well. Such a charge. Where? Uh, near the ammo depot. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I basically got it in the last second. At this point, it was really pointless to, for them to actually resist. But it's an AI, they never give up. Yep. And I'm getting my mechanized armor company. Yeah, I just um, did the final uh, research as well. I was actually I thinking, think like, it. to. Should I use the rocket launchers or to call in another uh, motor? I guess the rocket launchers would have been good as well. Well, in the end, I did have um, two Moro half tracks and one rocket launcher. Oh, so you did have enough uh, population kept to call it in? Yeah, I did have a few more. But it, in the end, I was like, yeah, I need some <laughs> population for other kind of forces as well. Well, at this point, I had a little bit of peace so I could build up my uh, defenses. and. Yeah, so much for peace. <laughs> You're a, uh, you I have a lot of small skirmishes. <laughs> Um, I was actually uh, attacked by both factions. Yeah, that was actually the biggest bullshit part. Like, the Americans were basically splitting their forces in half. Or at least sending a quarter of their forces to you. Don't know why. Well, I started to bombard them anyway. This surrounding is basically really nice. It's like Stalingrad. <laughs> almost. Well, actually, if you think of it, it's almost like Kursk, actually. When the Germans, in a way, had them surrounded and, you know, tried to basically surround them completely, but eventually failed. Yeah. No, oh, got a motor half track. Did you? Yep. I love when the MG fires and the bullets fly around, so awesome. Yeah, uh, the upper commando was sent their forces and almost killed my units. And these guys like to attack you from multiple sides. Killed by firing squads.
Ah, they're attacking me with their Sherman. Did it actually destroy your bunker? Yeah, I did. Yeah. They actually never captured the fuel depot that I took for them. After you captured it? Mm-hmm. I... Oh, there's, there's their howitzer. They're shooting me with their stupid howitzer now. Uh, caused a lot of trouble for you. Yeah, but I eventually sent in my panzer foil. I was like, no, you're not gonna cause me any more bullshit. Yeah, there it goes. It's gonna go and send that piece of shit to hell. Wait, what's yeah. that? Oh, a yak panzer. Oh, yeah. That thing caused a lot of trouble, actually. Yeah. But I sent my anti tank up to deal with it. They were about stuff. Then I'm uh, attacking their officer. In the meantime. Sweet. Unfortunately, he destroyed your bunker, so. Oh, yeah, and uh, right now I'm bombarding uh, the middle position in the meantime. I was wondering why I could destroy it so easily with the first bombardment, but to cut your share. Yeah, I was already bombarding them. I actually destroyed your bunker on accident. Oh, bastard. Yeah, my T-34 shot at your bunker and was really destroyed. Oh. And I they're assaulted did a, again. I actually did a pretty good job in the middle of bombarding them. She did. Let's check what's going on to the moment. Oh, I hear Lucia's. Yeah, you're bombarding him. Oh, actually, that's mine! My Katusha is bombarding now, actually. But it's bombarding the fuel depot. Yeah, I'm bombarding still the middle with my mortars. Oh, I, I actually almost destroyed it. I just needed at least one more mortar on it, then it would have been destroyed. Don't know why I didn't continue bombardment. Yes, you are, but it's useless. Yeah, and there's the their base actually as well. And there's the problem. Like uh, they're basically were able to get through the middle since they destroyed my bunkers. Yeah, I was actually really worried. I was like, God damn it, what to do? What to do? But I managed to push him back really easily. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm actually setting up uh, bunkers again. Yeah. And there's a noble soldat, and I hate those guys. They're really powerful. Yeah. I said that my T-34 they destroyed their ambulance so they wouldn't get any more reinforcements. Very good. Uh, actually, that's, that's the over-commando vest. Where? No. Which yeah. side? Tell your bunkers. Yeah. And my bunker got the MG-42. Nothing interesting happening right now except in your area. Get you had your engine destroyed, but Yeah. And I'm going to bombard the middle position right now. Ah yes. No, you took all the glory for yourself. <laughs> I... <laughs> Uh, well, you know, happens. Well, at least the flag gun is destroyed. It's a good thing we surrounded. Surrounded. At this point, I knew that I got it, so I was gonna send in everything we got into the middle.
Yeah, I remember. I think uh, that when I saw you attacking them, I was like, alright, I'm gonna move in as well. Since I'm not gonna be threatened to, like, being flanked. I don't know, well, we shall see. Oh. Oh, they're, they're attacking my motor half tracks. Yeah, then I realized that they had too many units there, I couldn't tell them my tanks. Alright. Then it, this is in that moment when I join you. Yeah, I told you that they have too many units, so don't send them in. But I was gonna wait until my Petus has loaded again, so I can bombard them again. And again, the middle position. Yeah. They're trying to capture it. They called in a a uh, artillery strike on you. Yeah. When I saw that, and I pulled back. What's that? Oh yeah, another Sherman. And it got destroyed. And you're recapturing that area there. Yep. Well, the Uber Commando no longer has that many fuel. Yeah, they wasted most on the last assault, and the Americans don't have much fuel either, so. I think this, this is a. Yeah, it's a munition cache. Yeah, now I'm now I'm moving forward. Yeah, I guess I was moving up as well. I think. Yeah, I saw the the puma, and I was a little bit worried. And I bombarded the bastard. And it then ran into my tank. Yeah. When I saw that it was destroyed, I was like, yeah, now let's go on defensive, baby. I for some reason retreated, I don't know why. Oh, I called in on a airstrike. airstrike. I guess that's why. In. <laughs> I saw you taking it, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna send you some back. Well, this is actually the moment of our our victory since we took the final victory point did I don't know why the, the uh, Americans and the open commander retreated that far away who knows maybe they were planning for a mighty assault Yeah, they were actually trying to assault me, but I think I was moving up at that time. Then they decided, like, fuck you, Obergomando, we're not gonna give you back up. <laughs> and with this, I managed to cut off their lines. They will no longer get fuel. Deed. 
three bombarded. They were uh, the uh, Stone Pioneers were there, so oh. they called in an artillery strike. Work. Set up my bunkers again. Yep. I unfortunately lost my elite conscript squads. Both of us had the same population. Well, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. There's that. Oh, another Sherman. <laughs> I bombarded their base. Now the shroom is engaging your D-34. Well, they barely scratched it. Yeah, I was like, alright. So you wanna have fun? Here, have my Panzer IV. And two T-34s. And... Dead. That was it. Yep. Victory. Victory's ours. I kind of really like this match. This was awesome. Indeed. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, like it if you want. Watch it again if you want. Also, check out Fred Alien channel. Yeah, I'll and leave, check uh, Killer Priest channel as well, because this video is going to be on my channel as well. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. But I didn't Me have too. a lot of fun. Actually, it felt like going against human players, but anyway. <laughs> so, as I would say, see you next time. Yep, see you next time. Bye.